Today we're going to look at objects that we see in the sky during the day and night and how they might change. If you sat in the same position all day and all night looking toward your neighbor's house, you would see a number of changes in the sky. For example, every morning you will see the sun appearing to rise in the east and set in the west. And even though it appears that the sun is moving, it's actually an optical illusion. An optical illusion is when we see something that we think is happening or that we think is real and it's actually not. So even though it appears that the sun is moving around the earth, it's actually the opposite. The earth is revolving around the sun. I want you to pause the clip in a moment and I want you to think of some of the objects that you could see in the sky, both in the day and night. Think of something made by humans, four natural things that are not alive, and something in the sky that's alive. And I'll give you a hint, we saw a clip of it before. Okay, let's see how you went. Something that you saw in the sky that was made by humans. Did anyone guess? That's right, it was an aeroplane. Okay, how about four things that were not made by humans that we see in the sky in the day or the night? Well, they were the sun, clouds, the moon, and the stars. How about something that you saw in the sky that was alive? Did anyone guess that one? Well, if you didn't, it was birds. Okay, I have two further questions for you. And the first one is this. When can the moon appear in the sky? In the day, night, or day and night? And the answer actually is in the day and the night. Some people think that the moon only comes out at night when the sun is gone, but that's not true. Even though it's hard to see at times because of the brightness of the sun or because of cloud cover, unlike the sun, the moon can appear during both the day and night time. Okay, here is our second question. The moon, as it moves through the sky from the time it rises to the time it sets, appears to change in size. Do you think it really changes in size? Or what makes it look like it changes in size? Well, the answer is the moon doesn't change in size, it's just an optical illusion. Whilst there are a number of reasons for this illusion, one basic reason is because as the moon gets closer to the horizon, there are lots of landscape features like mountains, large buildings, trees, that provide reference points for our brain via our eyes to compare the moon's size to. Wow, you actually want more. Okay, here's a question that I want you to follow up in your own time. If the moon does not give off its own light like the sun, how do we see it at night? To answer this question, how do we see the moon at night because it doesn't give off its own light, I want you to look at this diagram. You can see here that even when the sun has set and we can't see it, so it's night time, the sun still gives off light. That light travels from the sun all the way, it hits the moon, and then it reflects from the moon down to the earth, thereby allowing us to see the moon at night. 